Well, there's any. Uh, what, uh, what really fools you with Josh? He comes to the centre with a lovely smile on his face for you. Don't be fooled. No. <laughs> Now that smile and that See little punch of your fist, from the now he looks noise. to punch your mouth. He feels the pressure too, there's no doubt. One of these men will be lying on their back at the end of this fight. Three tuning it rounds, so these guys hit you, stay hit. When they hit each other, we feel it. It's a really good idea to just establish some feints. With oh, good, little good tag there from Daniel Podmore. And he's Up got ball. through again. The left hand's got through twice there from Podmore. Now Podmore leads with the left. We'll want to put that back in the pocket for a moment, and he does. Goes that right and misses, but Burns just oh comes right the way through and he's caught Podmore on the left. Burns is showing quick hands. He's staying relaxed and he's through two left hands. And there is a tendency at heavyweight level to grapple a lot. Yes. This, the instinct. Go make some noise. The big we're far away from each other, we feel safe. Come on. And when we're holding each other, we feel safe. We feel very unsafe here, and you should. Yeah, when you're within punching distance. Not a lot happening so far. It will. Oh, yeah, good tag. Oh, and a good shot. Both got, got a shot in, and Burns has got him where he wants. He's down, and he's hurt him. Burns landed. It was actually Podwell got the first tag in. He did. And then back came Burns. Burns landed a glancer to the temple, and that really... Worst of all shots. Yeah, they can be. Just destabilizes you and makes you unsteady. His eyes are focused. He's going to take his time. He's been doing well. Standing count of 18. And he's up. Yeah, does it right. Burns will smell victory though now, I think. Balls of steel, people, make some noise. Come on. Yeah, watch the three punches from Burns. That would be the approach. Oh, oh, oh the left again. hook. From uh, Podmore, that left. And back comes Burns. Tries to catch him again. Oh, oh, oh. Pushes him back and just booms him in the corner. If I'm Podmore, I, my confidence would be up now. You've taken the big shots. And still standing. And still standing. And you're starting to, to relax a little more. Wow, first round. Well, that's a... It's a dandy. 10-8 for Josh Burns. Now, in, in Canada, we use the metric system, but I, I think with the conversion, I think it's one million stone these two weigh <laughs> together. I'm not 100% certain. I'm not a mathematician, Tom. But I believe they weigh a combined total of one million stone. Am I right? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um. I can tell you, they are 20, 37 stone between them. 37 million stone. 37 stone. <laughs> yeah, small lads, aren't they? There's loads of room to move in there for them two big monsters. Well, um, obviously 10. 10, ten eight. eight round with a knockdown, but he, he, he wobbled him at the end, didn't he? he, he the one thing with Josh is he doesn't like getting cut. No. He, he really reacts, you know, a bit frantic when he gets cut. Podmore, I think his confidence will go up. He's taking the biggest shots and he's still seeing it. Like he's still. If, if he boxes, he can win this yes, fight. If he gets in a book brawl and gets backed against the ropes, that's Josh Burns' fight. Yes, it is. It's interesting, though. It's a good sure. fight again, that's for sure. As we wait for the referees, call them both. He's told them, let's go. So it's round Your two. Burns, you want two and three punches, not one. And that's Oh, what he, he comes does. right through, two, three, and then up and under. And then he catches left and he catches him again. Not massive punches, but tagging. And, and he smiles after. That is what he wants. Double jab right hand is what he used to enter there. Little redness in the eye, not only a bit of blood, but the, the right eye of Burns is red. And there's that electricity down the leg. You saw Burns wobble just a touch. Oh, he's got him in the corner again, and he sends them punches left and right, and he goes again. And when back comes Podmore with some really good shots, but they're grappling, so the referee will split him. When Podmore helmets up, takes both hands and covers up like a helmet, he's in trouble. On, he needs to answer in those moments, and Podmore with a hard right uppercut. And Burns is hurt! Burns is caught there for sure. He's trying to take the sting out of it by grappling. The referee will split them. Back comes Podmore. He smells something here, Podmore. This is the counterintuitive nature of heavyweight fighting. When you're hurt, you want to fire back. If you cover up, they'll smash right through the guard. This bad punch on his, just below his right eye, it's swelling already. So, Burns. Podmore, it, it is uppercut city right now for Podmore. You want look at, the, look at the swelling under the right eye of Burns there. And look at him sucking air. He's, he's uppercut breathing out of city his here for Podmore. You want uppercuts. They're there. And, and the fatigue is the holding and the grabbing. These are big, powerful men. Big shot by Good Podmore. Good shot by Podmore again. 
and he comes with that little left there, but Burns gets out of the way well. Josh is refocused now, but he's jumping. He's, he's running out of steam. He's caught him two and three times, and he ducks and he grapples. But Burns is I'm rocking here. Podmore, what up? Podmore feels that he's got this fight. It's only round two now. Podmore There's comes no looking. way they're going to get through to a, to a decision. No chance. Oh, he's caught him on the top of the head again, and Burns is in a little bit of discomfort there. He is taking the big shots, and they're clean shots. Don't that, let Podmore's physique fool you. These are well expressed. That's punches. Podmore's round. Yeah, that'll be well. It was a ten. Remember, it was a ten-eight for Burns in round one. Yeah. So Podmore still will either still. need to drop Burns yeah. or finish him, or yeah. it'll be a draw. It'll be a draw. Wins. Yeah. We'll put him down twice. Podmore's round yeah, ten-nine. Yeah, without a doubt. Um, can Josh hang on with a knockdown to, to get a draw? Because this That's is only exactly going one way, really. I'm going to go give some feedback to the guys. Yes, thank, thank you. Me. That's Jim. Yeah, they want to know that, these guys. And, and uh, you know, if you're Burns, two minutes of holding is not going to do this for a draw. Burns needs to win this round. And, and honestly, if Burns holds on, he will lose. Not just draw, he will get knocked out. If he fires and, he's, and he attacks, he has a better chance to win. For me, if Podmore carries on like that, he could win this. 100%. Right now, if they were betting lines at net bet, uh, round by round, people would be smart to put their money on Podmore. Now, having said that, you might lose your money because Burns will understand his best approach is offense versus offense. And again, offense. you talk about courage. Burns has got a oh. bucket load. He's been, he is a lifelong combat sport. Seconds out. Third and final round. Make some noise, people. Oh, he's got through again, Podmore. Podmore did what you want to do, which is answer it. You know Burns is going to be aggressive right off the hop. You know Bur Burns is going to be aggressive right off the hop, so you want to answer it. And that's what Podmore did. He stuck him with the jab. Like when a horse is galloping towards you and you stick your spear in the ground. Oh, good picked him off again. Then he's struggling there. Burns it was caught by Podmore. And again, a wrong left just to the top of the head there from Podmore. See how Burns goes down like that? That's human instinct. It's not the right move. It's the, just instinct. The uppercut could, could cause him a the, problem. The, right? the towel is in. Rip! They're all shouting, Rip, the towel is in. They threw the towel in the twice towel already. In. Barrington did. So they threw the, the towel the in once, and Barrington back. kicked it out. No, I think, I think that was in at, at the end of the last round, and it had stayed there. I'm not sure we'd have to get that confirmed, but he was definitely thrown in there, that's for certain. Well, I like that call regardless. I like that call. But the referee got his back to them. I like that call for the for Yeah, the, absolutely. For the corner to say, Josh can't breathe, Josh can't move, Josh can't see, and as a result, Josh can't win. And I, I like the way they protected their fighter. Josh fought absolutely. courageous, tough, uh, fantastic fight. Heavyweight versus heavyweight, but all credit in the world goes to Daniel Podmore. I've got to say, three wins out of three for Birmingham. Okay, Tom. <laughs> just, hashtag, just saying. Just saying. <laughs> Daniel Podmore fought a hell of a fight. Remember, he was put down in round one. He was and he's put taken it late, and the reality is, everybody thought Burns might, because he's got that, you know. He's got the experience, he's got the size. Yeah, so Jim is leaning over saying he thinks it was the right decision. We agree, Jim. Yeah. 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 Spot on. As Jim Freeman just told us, he was only going one way, thrown in the red tail, absolutely spot on. As I said, uh, Josh couldn't breathe, Josh couldn't see, so Josh couldn't win. And, and they did a great job to protect the fighter. Josh is a noble, fantastic, combat sportsman and martial artist and fighter and uh, and they did a great job of protecting him but Daniel Port Podmore man came in out of Remember, nowhere Burns caught him early on in the fight and he strapped him. took it shook it off and come back and won it he got better as the fight went on and we were saying that early if you were him after round one yes you got put down but your confidence would be higher you've taken the biggest shots and it will and you're becoming more comfortable I but love that fight said, it ain't over till it's over. <laughs> yes, that's right? true. And the, the, the fat lady... I think lady, that person was from Birmingham. The fat lady ain't singing. After the first round, she might have been gargling, but she weren't singing. <laughs> Is she from Birmingham, the fat lady? Oh, they all are. Jeez, uh, <laughs> no, sir, no. I won't accept that. It's the greatest city on the planet.
Well, Daniel Potter. Once again, the most accomplished of these good. two absolute Fantastic. gladiators going two and a two of them. So big hits in that one. Your winner by third round, Dr. Stovage, Daniel Potter. So they